Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're gonna continue our T-SQL journey with the over clause and the rank function. Stay tuned. If you find this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam, this guy. Okay, we've talked about aggregates and group by and the select statement and joins and common table expressions. In this video, we're gonna bring them all together and we're gonna introduce the over clause and the rank function. The rank is obviously what you think it is, right? So it's gonna rank over a given result set. You can even combine it with partitions and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And the over clause will define a window or a user specified set over some query. And I'll show you what this means. It'll, it'll become a little clearer once we build a demo. So, you know what I like to do? Instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. So let's say we wanted to rank the sales by each month for a given year and then restart that for each year. So we're going to use AdventureWorks and we're going to start by just doing a simple inner join. Everybody remembers inner joins, right? And to factor in that sales, we'll alias this and inner join this to calendar table. I made this calendar table myself. You may not have it in your database. FIS and then we're going to join it up on order date equals see that date. And then what we're going to do is we only want a couple of columns from this. So we want the year column. And if you're concerned about the keyword, just wrap this in brackets or aliases or something else. C dot month. And then we want the FIS dot sales amount. And then what I want to do is I want to aggregate this and then I'm going to alias this as total sales amount. And if you want to have spaces in your alias column names, you can wrap them in brackets or double quotes. Either will work. Now, what am I missing? Well, because you're doing an aggregation, Patrick, you need to do a group by, of course. And then I'm gonna drop that right there. And so if I run this, what I'm gonna get is for every month, year combination, I'm gonna get the total sales. And so then we wanna rank these, but restart that rank at every year. So when 2011, whoever has the most sales should be number one. And then when I start in 2012, restart. So we're gonna use rank. And then we're gonna use over. And remember I said rank will give you the rank based on a partition. And this is where that partition will come into play. And then we say partition by C dot year. We're gonna order by total sales amount. Ah, but then I need to copy this and rerun this again. Let's see if we can do this a little better. Watch this. I'm gonna get rid of this and guess what I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use a common table expression with sales by year and month as, let's do that. And let's just do a little tabbing and do this. And then we're gonna say select start from sales. There we go. And we just need a few columns, just like last time. So let's alias this as S, S dot year, S dot month, and then S dot our total sales amount. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that rank back. So we write rank over partition by, order by, and we're gonna order it by this column. So we're gonna have to run that aggregation again. And we're gonna do descending because we wanna rank them starting at the highest one. If you want your column names to have blanks in them, you can use brackets or double quotes. So I'm gonna call this sales rank and I'm gonna wrap it in my double quote. And finally, I wanna order this by S dot year. And guess what you can do? You can use the alias column in your order by. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna run this and I use C somewhere. Oh, right here. That's all right. Remember, that's no longer needed. It's going to be S. That's all right. That's all right. We'll make mistakes. And I'll run this. And what you'll see is 2011, February, had the highest number of sales. And then when I get to 2012, it restarts in March at the highest number of sales. And that's all because of this partition by. If I take the partition by out, what's going to happen is it's just going to rank them all the way down for every year and every month. And it's gonna completely ignore, you know, the restart on year. So now if I do this, you'll see, all right, this is number one. And if we go down to the bottom, you could see who had the least amount of sales at 750,000. And then this one with 2,710,000 had the most sales. All right, what do you think? You got any comments, you got any questions? Have you been using these, these this over clause and this rank function? I'd love to know. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the guy on the cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.